good day again. It's me, Seromel. Uh, today, we're going to take up addition of the similar fractions, part 1. Two guys were talking here. At ito, nag-uusap sila. Sabi nung isa, what is the similar fraction, by the way? Ah, uh, I know this. These are fractions with different denominators. So, today, our lesson is about addition of the similar fraction. So, how do we add the similar fractions? Okay, let's have an example. Example, one-third plus one-half. So, as you can see, they have different denominator. So, they are dissimilar fractions. So, first is you have to multiply the denominator 3 times 2 equals 6. And then, cross multiply 1 times 2 will give you 2. That's right. And then, 3 times 1 will give you 3. So, now let's add. 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. Okay, that's good. And then, copy the denominator. So, our final answer is 5 over 6. Did you get it? So, this is our first method. Another example with the same method. 2 fifth plus 1 fourth. So, again, Let's multiply the denominator since they are different. So, 5 times 4 will give you, right, 20. And then, we cross multiply. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. That's correct. And then, 5 times 1 is equals to? Five. That's correct. And now, let's add. 8 plus 5 is equals to? Okay, that's correct. 13. And then, copy the denominator, which is 20. So, our final answer is 13 over 20. Okay, next example. 2, 6 plus 2, 4. So, again, multiply the denominator. 6 times 4. Is equals to 24. Okay. And then cross multiply. 2 times 4 is equals to. That's 8. Very good. And then 6 times 2 is equals to. Okay. That's good. 12. And now let us add. 8 plus 12 is equals to. That's good. 20. And then, next step is copy the denominator, which is 24. Now, there is a question mark there. And a guy, another guy. Ano sabi naman ito? Sabi niya, is this our final answer? Oh? Bakit may question? What do you think is the final answer to that problem? Great job, everybody. See you.